Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are working in my uh, Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters album. This is the school year one that I am doing for my daughter's uh, year of pre-K. And yes, I'm documenting Christmas. I feel like even though I have a December daily and even though I do Project Life, I just feel like in this little album that I've been making in this notebook, that I want to have the complete year with the stories that are just truly just aimed um, from her, from me, for for her perspective, and in a small glimmer that if she ever wants to keep any of these albums that I make for her, that maybe this one uh, would be chosen because it's compact little and kind of chronologically shows um, a complete year. Um, well, at least an academic year. So for that reason, I am still going back and documenting Christmas. So uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know I just finished this little school year, uh, school portraits uh, layout previously, and some of that ink did go through. But I already had pre-planned this uh, layout out, so this will get covered up uh, mostly without a problem. So what I did was collage an eight by 10 down the middle, in my app that I always refer to. You can use many apps for collaging photos. These were both on my phone. And I just printed it as an eight by 10 and I did the two side by side. I knew that, that this would work because I did take the measurement. So I am cutting it in half and I'm having one on this side and then the one with Santa will go on this side is that thought process so that it fits entirely. Um, so it, I just knew I was gonna take off. So even if I did the eight by 10, like if I did it when I printed out that one, you're just taking off an inch on each side um, of the photo. So that worked out perfectly. So I didn't have to take off the inch here because now it was split, but it's just the inch off the top, which I made sure I left some of that negative space of the photo. And then besides these, I had these packs of gift tags. This was from the Dollar Tree. I wanna say they were this year. Um, it could have been two years ago though, because I'm always collecting things for December daily. So I have four pulled and I, and I did another collage of six photos on one four by six. Ooh, my mouth just came to visit. So it was like this when I first uh, did it. So I've matted two of them because the other four, I just took those tags. I want to just have them be like this. Uh, besides that, and I have some of the star brads pulled. So I'm gonna make each one of them um, a little twist out to show a photo. So it'll be like a photo underneath it and a little bit of journaling as well, as so. And the only thing I am worried about is that since I'm doing, uh, you know, photo and tags, photo and tags, that these brads will be rubbing on this side though. Um, and I need to be okay with kind of the picture maybe getting a little textured from the glitter on this brad or I need to switch it where all the tags will be like in the inside and the two photos um, toward the outside could work too, or vice versa, or the tags can be on the outside, but then the two photos are in the middle like that. Yeah, I know I don't like that. <laughs> this photo needs to be cut down. So it's either gonna be like so, um, or still rotating. So that is the plan. So I will take you along and do some of the journaling. I have to type out the journaling on my um, on my computer. So the only thing I'm also thinking, so if it's like this, this is where I'm also brainstorming. So if I swivel them, the photo will be here or I can do it on the bottom and then have the journaling. However, I'm feeling that some of the journaling for the photos and the stories may um, be a, a third swivel. So it'll be like the photo and then more journaling. So I'll make sure to use just like copy paper and not a lot of cardstock so that it doesn't get too thick when it's on there. Yes, okay, so that is the game plan. Oh, and then the reason too why I had these two already matted, since I only had four tags and I had six photos, I knew that on each of these photos, I could put the other one with all of us in our jammies with the jammy photo and then her writing to Santa on that photo too. That's why they're already matted because I didn't have a tag for these. So these might just 
grace the photo as well. So that is the game plan. We're not doing any stamping. There's not going to be a real title. I'm just hoping that, you know, do not open until the 25th from this tag will be suffice for understanding that it's a Christmas layout. And I'm just having green and green and then like a red and white, red and white. And there was an option for the little toy soldier, but I love the snowman more than the soldier. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, I will put you on fast forward and we will get this one completed. Okay, so doing this collage technique was really fun, actually, and I need to keep it in mind, especially also for any traveler notebook spreads that I may do or in my life crafted album, um, to split an 8x10 could be very cost effective, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but even for this notebook, it really worked out well, especially if you're not really going for a full page photo, but you want it to at least be the height of this notebook. Um, I really enjoyed this process and have to keep it in mind for another one. So I do like the way this came together. Um, the picture with us all in our Christmas jammies is constantly a tradition. And then I went ahead and did all my journaling for behind the tags. I made sure to do one where the square two by two photo will sit above it and then the back flip of it will have a full um, rectangle of text as well. And I chose about four, actually it might be like five stories, I think maybe six, of things that just happened with the pictures that went with it. Uh, this was like the first year, for instance, that she wasn't afraid of Santa Claus. <laughs> took four years. Um, it was the first year that she had an elf from Santa Claus that sat all around our house named Twinkle. So I wanted to doc document that. I documented things like the things that she asked for for Christmas too. Um, we actually, I'm not a baker, so it was the first year that we or I attempted to bake gingerbread cookies and they were actually really good. Um, and then I told you the Christmas jammies, we get them every year. And this year too, we had gotten such fun sets. Um, our, my collection constantly grows. So I love that tradition. And the other story was just doing like holiday events on how life is kind of getting back to normal this holiday season. And that felt really good. Okay, so I finished up the other two tags, um, and they came out the same way, and then I just already adhered them. I just put um, double-sided tape on the back one, and that way the top two pieces will swivel. I think this turned out really well, even though, actually no, when you flip it all the way around, you'll be able to see the whole photo. It just might be blocked when it's like halfway down, but I'm okay with that. It's a little interactive element. And then I just added this little kind of scripty, um, it was in red, I don't know if you can really see it. It just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then these two little um, paper stickers are both from the seasonal sticker pack from um, Happy Planner. And I went with the paper ones here because anything that was clear was not gonna be seen on that black chair. And then I thought I would see it a little bit more this red. Um, but it's okay. At least it's something there about Christmas. Like I said, there was no title except for this, but it works. Like I said, I just wanted to have a spread that kind of shows Christmas and then I can continue on with any stories from the year. Um, I did the same even before the birthday one where I just did a wrap up on Halloween and all of her costumes that we had that season. Um, so it's just, like I said, a, a, a little notebook to just document Everything that happened and all the little stories for her year in pre-K, even though I do an abundance of memory keeping, I just wanted one solid place for these ones for her. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing. Hitting that little bell notification next to the name will let you know when I post. I usually try to do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And please give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, everyone. Bye.